Hello there my fellow YouTubers, it's your boy Step by Step Tutorials and in this tutorial we are going to be working with some triggers inside of Unity. Now before we get started let's see if we can get at least two likes for this video. I'm not asking for much, just two. That'd be awesome. But with that said let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay. We got my YouTube test scene open, the one I use for all my Unity tutorials. And what we're going to do is basically go through a trigger, shut the light off. I mean, yeah, shut the light off, and then exit the trigger, turn the light back on. And we're going to be using our directional light right here. So, what we're going to want to do is create a cube for our trigger. So, right click in your hierarchy, go to 3D object. And just pick a cube, spear, capsule, you know. We're going to go with cube though. But you could pick anything with a collider on it. Boom. It made it inside the light. Did not move for that to happen. So let's move it outside the light. Okay. Now we're going to have to edit its rotational back to zero. <laughs> because it put it inside the light. It wasn't supposed to do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll put the box right there, we'll work. And then we're going to make it kind of flat and look like a door almost. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Flat, and then we're going to kind of like that almost, make it flatter if, there we go. Okay, now we're going to move it just a little bit out. Okay, now... If you know if you've used Unity before, then you know most likely you run into the box. You're gonna run into the wall. It's gonna not let you go through it. And we don't want that. So what we're gonna need to do is turn on its trigger in our inspector. That way we can actually go through it as if there was nothing stopping us from doing it. So and another thing we're gonna want to do is turn off mesh render so you don't see the box. You just see the screen outline, which is a collider, and that's what this is. We turn that on and off. Okay, now we need to write a script to say, hey, when something enters the collider, do something. In our case, turn the light off. And turn the light on when we exit. So we're going to right click in our project settings, our project assets, whatever. We're going to create a JavaScript. And we're going to call it the sun trigger. Because that's essentially what we're doing. Okay. We're going to open it up. Okay. And we're going to maximize that. And the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need to variableize the light. So what we're going to do is type in VAR. And we're going to type in S-U-N, L-I-G-H-T, sunlight. And then we're going to shift, boom. And we're going to hit our colons. And we're going to type in capital L-I-G-H-T. And then semicolon. There we go. Now, the L in light has to be capitalized, but and, the, and everything else is lowercase, other than the actual name of what we're verbalizing. And that can be whatever it is you want. As long as it's not light. It can't be just light. Because as you see here. Lighter color. Because you know you just can't do that. So we'll call it sunlight. And in our. Um, I got a program that I made. And um, where is it at? It's in apps too. Right here. Okay. Make sure it's always on top. Now, what this is, is it's a Unity JavaScript help. If you've seen my other Unity videos, I use this sometimes. Um, and what it does is you just click it, click trigger, enter function. Then you go over to your mono development. We're going to enter, and then we're going to paste it. And it pastes the trigger, enter function for us. We ain't got to type in it. You know, it just saves you a little bit of time. And we're also going to do trigger exit. Oh yeah, and if you get this right here, this line line endings Unix, which differ from the policy settings windows, 
convert to Windows line endings. Just hit OK. I get that a lot and I hit OK and I really suffer no problems with that. So, so now we got an enter and an exit. Oh, there goes my phone. No, oh, nothing important. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to type in sunlight. Just as we typed it in up there. L-I-G-H-T um, dot E-N-A-B-L-E-D equals F-A-L-S-E semicolon. And we're going to copy that and trigger exit. We're going to paste it there and we're going to change it to true. Okay. We're going to minimize that after we saved it. And then we're going to go through and we're going to create an uh, empty object. So right click on our, our hierarchy, go to create empty. <clears throat> you can post, um, I'll move that out of the way. You could put that anywhere you want to, you know, it does not matter. So I'll just throw it over there. And we're going to add our trigger to it, or the script we just made. And as you noticed, obviously there was no problems because it put our sunlight right there. So we're going to click and drag our directional light. Boom. And then we're going to hit play. Oh. My bad. I messed up horribly. I don't know what I was thinking. Delete the uh, game object right there. Where's the cube? Right there. Okay. Add it to the cube. My bad. I'm sorry. I apologize. Deep list apologies. I'm thinking of another tutorial I was doing right before this one, so yeah, excuse my French. Okay, let's go ahead and try it again. Oh, we're in. It's dark. We're out. It's light. There we go. And it's super easy. And you could tell this to activate particles. Um. You can tell it to delete objects, you know, you can jump, teleport, all that jazzy stuff. Um, which, I got a couple of tutorials I plan on coming out with here in the future. I got a particles tutorial I'm working on. I'm um, trying to optimize it, make it as easy as possible. Also, I got another tutorial for teleporting, which is very fun. And you can make like endless hallways and stuff like that. But, with that said, um, if you have any suggestions for this video, please let me know in the comment section below. If you like this video, you can always hit the like button. That always helps out the channel. If you want to see more of these videos, you can always hit that um, uh, subscription button. That helps out too. Um, with that said, oh, oh, side note. I just made a new channel for my YouTube um, called A Simple Gamer. So if you want to see me play gameplays, of stuff like the forest, um, the joy creation, you know, just all kind of stuff. You can go ahead and check that out as well. Um, with that said, I shall see y'all next time in the next video.